health alerts for you and your family. This is News 8 at 5. And I'm only going to say this once, robotic heart surgery. I'm Jeff Zevely. Come on back and meet the Oceanside woman who's going to try it for the first time here at Scripps Memorial Hospital in La Jolla. Well, tonight, for the first time at Scripps La Jolla, a robot has assisted in heart surgery. Amazing stuff. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's reality. News 8's Jeff Zevely is live at Scripps La Jolla tonight with this health alert. Jeff? Carlo, this reminds me of the first time when I was on a plane and the pilot announced that computers would be landing the aircraft. For me, this is one of these moments. I mean, come on. Robotic heart surgery? This morning, everything, you all ready to get things rolling? 55-year-old Pam Kennedy from Oceanside is always on the move. Problem is, her heart is too. If I could take my fist and this is my heart, it, it, this is what it's doing in my chest. Pam suffers from atrial flutter, which means two or three times a month out of nowhere. Her heart will start racing at 200 beats a minute for up to eight hours. You're like, well, I guess this is the day I'm going to die. When it happens, Pam can hardly breathe. Her arms and legs go numb, and she's tired of ending up in the emergency room. I'm excited about this procedure. For the first time ever at Scripps Memorial Hospital, Pam will let a doctor use a robot to heal her heart. The robot only does what I tell it to do. Essentially driven by a joystick, Dr. Mike Porter maneuvers the robot much like a video game. Moving the catheter is very similar to moving a character around in a video game. An estimated 2.2 million Americans suffer from atrial fibrillation with 160,000 new patients diagnosed each year. You see, when your heart beats, there's an electrical pulse, and for some people, that pulse short circuits. If you can think of it as a, like I mentioned, a dog chasing its tail. The robot is able to snake up through a patient's leg, then zap and disable the bad circuitry. Everything I've seen on TV about robotic type things are really much more precise. So that's a good thing. Dr. Porter usually performs this tiring procedure by hand, but the robot delivers pinpoint precision without fatigue. And Pam is willing to trust the technology literally with all of her heart. I'm going to be asleep. You guys are the ones going to be worrying, not me. That machine costs $700,000. Pam, by the way, will be heading back to Oceanside towards home in just a few hours and coming up new at 6.30, she's going to tell us about the time when she was out surfing and her heart freaked out on her, describing that very terrifying episode. Carlo and Barbara Lee, back to you. Well, attitude is very important at times like this and hers is excellent, so we're, we're feeling good about it, Jeff. Yeah, she's trusting technology. All right, thanks. Thanks, Jeff.